welcome back to TJ. Yeah, the TJ for here. Maybe that's the thing. That's what he said. That's what I want. That's what I want. I think it's just gonna have to be the end of the end of the day for that one. So yeah, I was just like a little tangent there. That was just a very little thing that was just like the other. Some of them is technical, and then I pray, I pray, okay? You see this, because I pray means God, just like you know, just like you know. God put the red flag there, what's your name? Then you put the name there. So let's put it back, because I want to address it to you. Let me put my own site, okay? C-E-I-D-E-N. Let me put my own site, because my side, I want to actually embed in that place. HTTPS, www.cdn.com, okay? So here, you make sure that you put the name as usual, don't like what it is in image, but then you put the name so that somebody that cannot see, you understand what you're writing, okay? So just simply put Steven website. Steven website, okay? Steven website. Steven website. The bear website. Then now if you press your control S for save, let's now come over here. Let's see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Can you see it? The bear website that's open. Can you see it? But it's then too small. So what can we do? I'm going to leave it small like this. But at least you see what I'm talking about. So you see that this button was placed just there too small. Let me make this button. You see it very, very small. You can't really see much things there. So what we do to make it big? Just the way you can control, put control for your visual and the rest of them all. Put width and height, but also put your hit, your width and height on high screen. So how do we do that? Just come over here, come over here. Let me make the width. Let me make the width of this iframe to be let's say one thousand two hundred, and then let me make the height. Let me make the height. Let's make let's increase the height as well. So as let's increase the height. Let's make the height to be say nine hundred and fifty. Okay, nine hundred and fifty as the height. Then control S. And now I should leave the bigger. Let's open this. Uh -huh. So you you now see that the full website is here, right? So you can do anything. You can go to my home page. You can go to my home page to Play, you can go to my blog, you can go to my account, you can go to shop, you can actually buy a market on my site, do anything. You see my homepage? See it? You can actually buy any of my products there, add to cart, add them to cart, you know? You see it? So, what have I just done? I just embed my website on this site I'm building again. So, that is the work of iframe. But is this the only thing that you can do? Is this the only thing with a height that you can increase? Of course not. There are similar other things we can do. Let's continue. We can actually add a border here. Maybe let's remove the border or remove the border. How do you do? Just come over here. Type frame border. Frame border. Frame border. Frame border. Frame border. Let's even let's make it uh, to be equal to zero, okay? Let's frame border to be equal to let's make it zero, okay? And save, save your work. You see that it actually remove the border, so if you look at it, it's just the same size. No border, no difference. You know? Let me make it. Let me make it big size. That's what I'm talking about. You see it? I see it from YouTube video to down here. You see? So you can see the whole site. And for you, you can navigate the site as I told you earlier on, click anywhere, do anywhere. So you can actually add your frame border. You can reduce the border, maybe one, two border, hundred, as you want. Or even move that way, just remove it now. So you can actually on many websites, but not all websites. Some websites don't want to use their website as I frame their own website. For example, if you go to Amazon, let me type on Amazon here. Let me just give me my name for Amazon. If I type on Amazon, right, let me delete this and put Amazon.com. Amazon.com. You find out that Amazon is likely not going to allow people to use their website as iframe. 
and they have their reason, you know, because when you use someone we are now start as I think your website, sometimes people do it fraudulently so that you think that it's an Amazon website, but it's not Amazon website. Somebody can come over to the website, your own website, click on Amazon, click on Amazon, do business, do a few things and it's paying to you directly. So to avoid that, some big websites have to put some code that will make it possible for you to use their website as Amazon. Let's take Amazon if Amazon is one of them. You see, I put Amazon now, what do you see? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let me go to empty, let me make it bigger. You see, nothing. It's only to the that Amazon.com refuse to connect. See, it refuse to connect. So they don't want you to use their website as I think. And they have a genuine reason. And that is also a stand of warning for you to be careful because you don't just anybody website. Sometimes people can actually use that as fraud. So this is the use of I think. Like I said, you can resize it, you can move it around, you can add border, anything, work on it. You know, it's just the joy of having an Apple website inside your own website. You know, it's just a way of training, okay? Don't use anything bad for just for your training page, okay? Like I said, my training is for if you're new, if you're listening, if I don't believe in fraud lines, then you know, don't use it for any fraud lines. Once again, thank you so much for listening to my training today. Feel free to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button now, don't go yet. Next time I release a video like this, if it's something that will benefit you, you will be able to be the first to learn about it. Thank you so much. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening to my channel. See you in the next class. Okay.